SpaceX's Polaris Dawn mission team enumerates their challenges. Knowing that every breath they took could be their last out there in the quiet emptiness of space, such huge, unfathomable risks. Yet the SpaceX Polaris Dawn mission team is poised to make history. The crew of Polaris Dawn enlists all they must deal with as they set out for this first of three planned special missions. The mission weighs every heartbeat, hanging precariously on the brink of uncertainty. Human bravery and endurance are put to the limit on this expedition as they attempt to cross the last frontier. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Join us as we explore the fascinating challenges faced by the SpaceX Polaris Dawn team. Polaris Dawn is the first of three planned missions in the Polaris program, which is funded by billionaire philanthropist Jared Isaacman. The project is a follow-up to SpaceX's Inspiration4 launch, which took place in 2021 and put Isaacman and three other private citizens on the first ever all-civilian spaceflight. The launch date has been rescheduled several times, but it is now scheduled to occur in July 2024, as per a recent interview with Isaacman. In conjunction with Inspiration4, Isaacman was able to contribute to a $250 million fundraising effort for St. Louis, Jude Children's Research Hospital in Memphis, Tennessee. He hopes to maintain this momentum into Polaris Dawn and the program's other missions. Isaacman and the Polaris Dawn crew will fly their Dragon spacecraft higher than any crewed trip since the Apollo program ended in the 1970s in an attempt to continue leading the way in private spaceflight. In addition, the crew will conduct the first ever all-civilian extravehicular activity EVA event while in orbit, testing and validating SpaceX's newly enhanced spacesuit design. Also, during the Polaris Dawn mission, a SpaceX worker will don a Crew Dragon for the first time and take a Falcon 9 rocket into space. Four team members, Isaacman, former Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Scott Kid Petit, SpaceX engineers Sarah Gillis and Anna Menon, and Isaacman, will be launched into space by Polaris Dawn using the SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule, reaching an initial orbital height of 870 miles. The crew will circle the planet for around five days, traveling at such a high altitude that it will pass over the Van Allen radiation belts, which are rings of intense particles caught in the magnetic field of Earth. Utilizing this knowledge, the Polaris Dawn crew intends to gather medical data to gain a deeper understanding of the effects that the radiation environment has on humans passing through it. Along with this, they will tackle a variety of other health-related research projects, such as monitoring the gas bubbles in their blood to investigate decompression sickness, also referred to as the bends. Nonetheless, one of the most bizarre research seeks to comprehend spaceflight-associated neuroocular syndrome, or SANS. Speaking with NASA Spaceflight Live, Petit described this as one of the biggest challenges associated with long-duration spaceflight. The pressure of an astronaut's spinal fluid, which is the fluid that surrounds their brain and other vital nerves like those in their spine and eyes, varies when they are in microgravity. This can occasionally cause unsettling symptoms like blurred vision. Poteet hopes to be the test subject for the first intrusive measurement of spinal fluid pressure in space, where he would have a measuring mechanism surgically installed before travel. The crew will be measuring this pressure using certain non-invasive techniques. But that won't be the mission's biggest first. The spacewalk that Polaris Dawn intends to perform will be the first on a private mission, meaning that it will not be carried out by NASA or any other government organization. When astronaut Ed White spent 21 minutes outside his spacecraft on Gemini 4 in 1965, it was the first NASA spacewalk. Since then, spacewalks have been a regular feature of ISS operations and have even been utilized during a space shuttle mission to repair the Hubble Space Telescope. The project also intends to test Starlink, SpaceX's satellite-based internet, from a spacecraft to enable internet access even while the spacecraft is far from Earth. Like Inspiration4, the mission's goal is to raise money for St. Jude Children's Hospital. To further encourage children's interest in science, Menon will read aloud from her children's book, Live on the Mission. The group has been training for these daring objectives for a few years now, doing everything from skydiving to high-altitude mountaineering to centrifuge training like NASA astronauts.
Even if they are prepared to launch, the timing of the mission's launch is primarily dependent on the technology needed to send them there. Thus, there is a good chance it will be postponed past this month once more. However, when it does take off, this will undoubtedly mark a significant turning point in humankind's attempt to travel farther into space and will yield insightful data for organizing upcoming projects. We wish to impart our knowledge to everyone, Petit stated on NASA Spaceflight Live. The goal is to enable participation from all of humanity to reach the Moon and Mars. Isaac Mann listed some of the difficulties the Polaris Dawn crew will face in creating the mission in an ex-post. It will, for example, necessitate new spacesuits designed for spacewalks as opposed to the sleek intravehicular spacesuits SpaceX usually uses for manned missions. As Isaacman noted, that includes suit changes for mobility, life support redundancy, sun glare, and some resiliency to MMOD, micrometeorites, and orbital debris. Crew Dragon must also be built to be able to expel and then re-enter air. The vehicle was, initially, designed to go to vacuum only in an emergency, he claimed. Unknown obstacles face the laser experiment. It's not just turning the router switch to the on position, as every Draco thruster firing could break a link, Isaacman stated. The crew's potential exposure to radiation is also a concern as they try to break an altitude record in low Earth orbit. Avionics don't like radiation, which means there is a lot to analyze and sim to get right. Despite these challenges, Isaacman expressed confidence in the team's ability to overcome them, saying, SpaceX engineers are doing an outstanding job tackling big problems very quickly. Though planning for the bigger Polaris program is still in its early stages, Isaacman has stated that he intends to deploy Starship for at least one of the missions. Additionally, he has proposed to extend the Hubble Space Telescope's orbit. NASA has invited community members to submit proposals to assess the viability of other ideas. Starship has conducted two space attempts in 2023, but the system is currently experiencing technical issues that will probably cause some of its larger contracts to be delayed as well. Both times, the spacecraft reached great altitudes, but was never able to complete its intended orbit around the Earth and land safely. A recent report from the Government Accountability Office indicates that NASA's first human moon landing with Starship, Artemis 3 will probably now occur no earlier than 2027. The agency is ready to switch to other kinds of missions for the moon-bound Artemis program, but it has been warning for months that the moon landing will probably be postponed until 2025 while Starship continues its testing. NASA's Orion spacecraft will be used to fly Artemis II around the moon mission with four humans on board in late 2024. Humanity's dreams accompany the Polaris Dawn mission team as they go into the abyss battle ready for a number of challenges, including unobserved cosmic radiation, the harsh pull of microgravity, and unstable life support systems as launch day draws near. We are getting closer to solving the mysteries of the cosmos with each obstacle we overcome. Their adventure is proof of our tenacity and inventiveness. Our future among the stars is brighter than ever with heroes like them. If you enjoyed this video, kindly hit the subscribe button and like button for more. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you will be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you for watching. See you in our next video.